the uh, attraction to the mirror is, exists on many levels for many reasons. On the most simplest level, it's uh, a wonderful, dynamic, reflective surface to work with. And it looks great in light and all of that. On another level, it's just the ultimate symbol of vanity, which is such a which plays such a major role in the fashion world. It's all about vanity. And then on a, on a deeper level, it's a matter of um, how it relates to the concept of armor, blinding your enemies. So we're here on Oak Street headed for Elements, where we finally managed to get some pieces into the window for the holiday season, which is a major breakthrough. What's nice about it is they're showing the stuff as interior fixtures rather than fashion. So it, we installed it ourselves actually, but it's... Maybe people will finally see it as sculpture. Yeah, that was the idea. From the beginning, the pieces have been um, as much about art as they have been about fashion. Um, they're gradually becoming more and more wearable, but they didn't necessarily start off that way. They were more about pieces of art to be displayed as such and they, we continue to want them to be displayed as art as well. They're the kind of things that are uh, very theatrical, you know, make that impression, boom, you wear it. I mean, you might even wear it once, you may never wear it, but um, then it's intended to be displayed or uh, installed as a piece of art, as a sculpture. They walk the line between the two. That's that niche that we're trying to find between the art and fashion worlds where the two meet.